Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Rob with DVC Shop. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit more Star Wars, specifically over at Oga's Cantina. We are gonna talk about what it's like to go there with kids or maybe you're a non-alcoholic drinker. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and let us know what you think. Have you tried any of the non-alcoholic beverages that Oga's Cantina has to offer? Let us know in the comments below. Oga's Cantina is such a fun place, from the music to even the crowds. When you go in there, you can't help but be enthused with all the fun that's going around. And sometimes when you go there, you might have little ones in tow, or maybe you're a non-alcoholic drinker yourself. So what do you do? This is a cantina, right? Well, thankfully Disney had things in mind for that. We're gonna talk about my two favorite drinks for non-alcoholic drinkers and also one of my favorite snacks to eat there. After much thought, I can't really put one of these drinks above the other. They're both amazing. Let's talk about the Blue Bantha first. The Blue Bantha is a spin on the blue milk that you can get out in the streets along with the green milk. But inside Oga's Cantina, they have the blue milk with a, it has like this Samoa type cookie on it and they put the straw through it and it's a little bit more cold, a little bit more slushy. And honestly, I think it tastes a lot better, especially with that cookie on top. I make sure I get this one at least once every time I go into Oga's Cantina. The second drink I wanna talk about for non-alcoholic beverages is the Carbon Freeze. This one caught me off guard. A little bit fruity, the bubbles though, are really, they add a lot of pop to it. And also, speaking of pop, inside the drink, they put these little the pearl poppers that pop in your mouth. And the story goes behind those, if you look up behind the bar, up top, you'll see this frog inside a glass aquarium. And what happens is they harvest the eggs from this frog to put it in the carbon freeze. That gives you the nice little pop. Just a fun little fact that you should probably know before you drink it. Overall, the taste and satisfaction of this drink it's amazing. It's hands down phenomenal. <laughs> as far as the snacks go, we tried the Hapabor Sampler and we didn't really know what to expect, but we went off the description and thought we would like that one better than the other one. But we were not let down on this one. The Hapabor Sampler was just phenomenal. Everything on that board was great, but the real winner for that board actually was the onions. It was so good. I remember picking up the onion thinking, what is this at first? And I I, I, I couldn't really place it. I, I didn't know what it was, but it was an onion and they, they just left it. They cooked it very well. And you just, you know, you kind of just had to get a little messy with it and eat it. This onion though, stole the show from the plate. From all the other items on the plate, this was the underdog. The one that I never thought in a million years would be the best one. The onion was great. Everything else on there was great. The, the pork rinds mixed with everything. That was interesting. The hummus and everything, it was good though. All around a great, a great sampler that everyone should try at least one time. Now I did bring something for the non-alcoholic drinkers. Say you want a souvenir mug, but it only comes in the alcoholic versions. For example, this mug here would come in the Yub Nub. The Yub Nub is an alcoholic beverage, and if you're not drinking alcohol, what do you do? Do you just say, oh well, I can't get the alcoholic beverage? This is, sorry, this is just too cool. You got the, uh, it looks like a tiki uh, type mug. You got the Death Star on there. Uh, you got some TIE Fighters, X-Wings, and the Battle of Endor with some Ewoks and an ATST. Anyways, it's just a really fun mug. And I saw this, like, so what do I, I don't drink? How do I get that mug? So I went out of my way and I asked the bar, I asked our waiter. I said, so is there any way possible I could purchase this mug and just maybe have a non-alcoholic beverage in it? And of course, you know, they, they have a way around this. So you are able to purchase a non-alcoholic drink. Now, you will be paying for the mug. The mug, depending on the, I'll show you another one here in a second, but the mugs, they cost anywhere from 35 to $45 and some of the other ones cost over $75. So depending on the mug and the quality, depends on how much you pay for it. So yeah, we had the Yubnub mug, but we got a non-alcoholic beverage. It's pretty cool. Now we have a really awesome souvenir we can take home with us. As far as the preset non-alcoholic beverage, you have the Cliff Dweller. The Cliff Dweller was actually a really good drink and it came in a pork mug. Um, so <laughs> it's it's pretty simple. It, it's designed to look like a little totem. You got a porg in there, but overall, you know, this the mug is okay. What makes this one is actually the drink inside the mug. 
it's this almost like this pina colada this virgin pina colada type slushy it's just it was so good so good so definitely recommend the cliff dweller uh, not just for the mug also for the drink that comes with it when our waiter brought out the mugs he did a great job of setting them all up and getting us a really nice photo op he put the carbon freeze inside the inside the yub nub mug and because basically you don't want to bring home a wet juicy sometimes sticky mug so they wrap you up a fresh mug and you can bring them home what do you guys think? Have you guys been to Ogus Cantina? Comment down below if you've tried any of the non-alcoholic beverages or tell us what your favorite beverage is there, non-alcoholic or alcoholic. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. It really does help our channel and we really do appreciate it. If you would like to see more of our adventures, head up to the search bar in YouTube and search for The Campbell Chronicles. There we discuss all things family, travel, and Disney. So if you value any of those, that channel is for you and we'd greatly appreciate your subscribing there. Thanks again and we'll see you real soon.